Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today's Sunday. Uh, I've been sitting at the house recuperating, so it's been a while since I've made a video. I uh, just want to show you some of the things I've been working on. Uh, I've been kind of ill for a bit, and I damaged my ribs. But I'm on the mend, so I have some time to sit here and make some neat stuff for you. First thing I wanted to show you, I made a World War II uh, light cruiser or a destroyer. Um, believe it or not, this is really, really simple to make. It's actually two sheets of paper. Um, there's absolutely no gluing. And then there's a basic reverse box fold that I make the towers and stuff with. And then a rolled up tube. But uh, basically it all fits back together. I got the idea, if you look on YouTube for origami truck, there's a fellow who makes a truck like this right here. And the way he fits it together uh, has two boxes inside of a box and it goes together. So I, I figured out how he made that truck and then I applied it to making a ship. So I did that right there to this right here and it makes an excellent model of a destroyer or a cruiser. Uh, let me move this out of the way here. Something else I've been trying to figure out. Nobody anywhere on YouTube has a hexagon shaped box. So I literally traced out a hexagon and I figured out where the folds would go to make one. So I used that as a little stand for the ship right now. But I did put together a little smaller one. You can see it's not one of those crenellated kind of looking ones. Um, everything fits together. And it makes a very nice box like this right here. And it is six sides. And they're all equal sides. And it's pretty sturdy actually. I like that. Put that over here. Let's see here. I am just really gobstopped by this destroyer I made. This thing is just really perfect. I mean, it's like you almost expect it to start the boilers and like go on out, you know, and do some battle in the Atlantic with the submarines. I'm going to have to figure out how to make some submarines too. That would be really neat. But basically it's just three different folds is all there is that makes this ship right here. All right. Let me put this off to the side. Here's when I was practicing a little bit. I made a, like a tramp steamer. It's pretty nifty, eh? And this one was real simple. It's just a single base to it right there. And then you just add some of those boxes to it, like I said. You don't even have to have a top deck on it right there because it makes a cargo hold inside. You got the body of the ship. And you got the bridge and you got the single funnel that most of them have. And in the front you have right here where the crane usually would be at that they used to unload the cargo out of the cargo pods here. And that makes that ship right there. Toot toot. That was pretty easy. I'll, I'll show you how to do that one in another video here. Because basically the whole thing puts together, it's like this. It's just a box, a central deck, and the bottom deck. And all together they make a ship. Alrighty. Something else I've been working on lately. My piece de resistance. My most beautiful tank I have ever made so far. There we go. This is a German Tiger 1 tank. I absolutely just love this thing. It turned out so nice. Uh, let me turn it here so you can see the front of it right there. It's got a flat front right here. If you look at it from the top, it has the rounded back section like the real tank does. The different levels to the guns. I mean, this thing is just beautiful right here. I added the uh, like smoke launchers right there and the extra pieces of track that would normally be there. It's got both of the top turret pieces and the antenna. The exhaust manifold shields back there. And it even has the side covers over the tank treads where the bogies and wheels would be at. But, man, I'll tell you what, that just turned out really good. Look at that. It looks like the real thing almost. Anyway, so we'll put that there. Had an earlier model of it I made. It looks really good. I didn't put all the extra goodies on it yet. But, boy. And when I make a video for this, you guys are going to be really surprised how easy it is to make this. I mean, 
you know, it's literally two pieces and then you stick some little accents onto it. But uh, that's how that one looks right there. All right, let's put that over here. Now, somebody was asking the other day, they wanted me to make a Sherman tank. I had made a quick version of one right here. I didn't quite feel like the turret was the right size and scale for it. So I did some measuring. So let's put that one away. This is what I came up with. This one right here is the right scale, right size, has all the perfect curves, uh, has the guns all mounted, and I built it so that you could actually rotate the turret if you want to into oops into another direction by making a T stand underneath it. So that way you don't have a static model with it just in one spot. But it is a Sherman tank. It's got the machine gun on top. It's got the front mounted machine gun right there. You got your turn as a poseable turret. It's got the 75 millimeter cannon. And it's got the working hatch on the top right here for the tank captain. And uh, decorated it really nice here. It's got the flat back. But I'll tell you what, that looks really nice right there. It looks just like a real Sherman tank. Well, I'll tell you what. If that was really coming down the road in real life at me, I'd I'd pause to look at it. <laughs> Let's put that over here. And an homage to the fella who made the origami truck. I made his truck right there. Well, I'll tell you what, that's that's pretty snappy. I like that. You know, it looks just like a real truck. His truck that he made had one set of wheels in the back and one set of wheels in the front. I just copied one of his folds twice, so I made double wheels in the back and a single wheel set in the front kind of like a like a deuce and a half uh, military truck would be it's kind of the ones that I saw when I was overseas in the war and they would put a big cross on the side so everybody knew they were medical and not shoot at the trucks alrighty see it looks like a real truck see something like that you know all the way from World War II on deuce and a half I think my favorite movie that had a deuce and a half in it was that that uh, Tremors movie. I think maybe second one or something. Anyways, he had a big deuce and a half truck. He was driving around and smashing graboids, and and uh, he left all of his MREs in there, and the graboids ate them all. And yeah, <laughs> we know where that went. That's pretty nifty right there. Oh, and then I have one little thing I was saw. I tried making it's a little stand up stand. Pretty cool. Alright guys, I apologize for not making a tutorial. I'm just doing an update video here. Uh, as soon as I get my health back in gear, I'm going to make uh, tutorials for all of these things. And uh, show you all how to make these right here. Thank you all for being the best guests. You all take it easy, okay? Bye bye.